Do you know what the number one complaint real estate agents get? It's the lack of communication. Obviously, as a seller, when you put your house up for sale, it's probably your largest asset. The agent that you decide to hire, you obviously expect to get nothing but the best. There is a lot of work that goes into preparing your house for sale. The challenge is when you put your house on the market, you're kind of left in the dark. Do you really know who's coming through? What do people think about your house? Do people want to bring an offer in? So what we do differently here with Mr. Saga real estate team, we want to keep you informed. We like to give you the listing feedback report. In this report, we have a lot of information to show you who's visiting online and offline. So first of all, there's actual physical showings. How many people came through? Did they come multiple times or was it just a one and done? All of this is to really give us some insight on how your listing is on the market. The only way we're gonna sell your house is to really know and really capture the right buyers that's in the market for this type of property. Showings can tell us a lot about how your house is doing on the market. If we're getting a few showings and no offers, we're probably not positioned perfectly in the market. So it really depends and we can tell a lot of how the listing is doing based on the amount of showings. The next thing is open houses. If you decide to have an open house, you obviously want to know what people thought of it. Sometimes there's going to be nosy neighbors. Some people are just driving in to take a look. Maybe they're not even interested in buying, but these people, we can get genuine feedback about the house. Feedback. Now, this is probably the most important thing because when people come through, we want to know what they think, especially the most qualified buyers. They've probably been out searching for properties for some time. They've seen our competitors. They've seen other listings in the same price point, same area, same size, so on and so forth. But they also know what they like and what they don't like. If we're getting the same feedback of, say, a lot of people don't like the wallpaper that we got. Maybe it's some sort of consideration that maybe we should spend a little bit of money and remove the wallpaper and give it a fresh coat of paint. Then we can attract the buyers because that's what buyers are looking for. Next is the online showings. Realtor dossier, our virtual tour. There's a lot of analytics that are behind all of that. So we can give you in the feedback report how many visits we're getting online. Now, keep in mind about every 25 online visits, there should translate into one physical visit. Paid online advertising. So what we try and do is we target de certain demographics, the most uh, potential buyers for this type of property in different locations, and we can track all of that. How many visits we got onto the ad, if they've watched the video that we did for your listing. All in all, we really take this part seriously because we know how stressful selling a house is. And the more informed you are, the more comfortable you are with the whole process. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see in the report. And until then, we'll see you next Wednesday.